Hey guys, Green up here. Today we're going to build a multiplexer. A multiplexer looks like this. So it has two inputs, A and B, and what you can do, and it also has select. Now what A and B are, they're just any one bit input, and select lets you basically pick which one comes out through the output. So if A is one and select is one, one will come out. If B is one and select is zero, zero, if you put zero in for select, it lets A out. If you put one in for select, it lets the B out. So I think it's best if I just show you how this works. So we are going to start building this. So we're going to need an AND gate here. We're also going to need another AND gate over here. Yeah. Let's just make the AND gates first. And these AND gates join together with OR gates. And for the OR gate, it's actually going to make, I'm just going to make it a really wide OR gate. So here will be our output. This one is going to be A. This is going to be B, and then we have select. Now we need to also bring, I'm going to build this with this, I'm going to bring this over down to here. can't lay redstone across from each other. Now we need to also put in a NOT gate, as you can see in the diagram, which we will put right here. There we go. There is our multiplexer. So this is select. So when select is zero, it lets A through. So select zero right now. So A is zero. Hmm, so you see, maybe it's, nope, should be letting A through. Oh, ha, just forgot a little bit of redstone, don't know how I didn't see that. So, when select is at zero, it lets A through. So, when that's set to zero over there, that's select, you can switch the lamp on and off with this button. So we're gonna switch it off. Now you see that the B input doesn't do anything. But if you have B on and you select select to one, which lets B through, then B controls it. Now, you may be wondering, how is this useful for computer stuff? Well, we're actually gonna expand this a little bit. So we're gonna break this and this. We're gonna extend, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make A into an AND gate. And we're going to make B into an OR gate. One sec, let me turn down this music. I might just turn it all the way off. Let's put it like 5%. I want it to be completely quiet. Back to game. Okay. So, B is going to be an OR gate. Now what we want to do... We'll just put these here for now. So, what you can do is you can say, okay, so I want the result. So if A and B are, A and B is one, 
then what we can do is if we want it to show us the result of an AND operation, we can set it to show with AND at zero. If we wanted to show the result of an OR operation, we can set this. This basically lets us choose between whether we do AND or OR. Now in a real computer, and this is where it gets interesting, we're, we'd actually just wire these up together. We'd make, basically, what we're doing here is we're going to either AND or OR together. Let me just show you first. Let's build it. And then this one. have to get rid of our old not gate here should have taken space into consideration there we go and then yeah perfect so what I did here was I wired up the left input of the AND gate and the left input of the OR gate to both be controlled by one switch. And I wired up the second input of the OR gate and the second input of the AND gate to be controlled by one switch. So if I have this one on, this controls the first input of both. So the first input of this and the first input of this. So what we have here, and let's also bring our select over. think we're going to need to have a repeater in here somewhere just to lengthen it. Oh yeah, of course we are. It's really far over there. So let's put one here. That's probably good enough. And then redstone wiring. There we go. So this controls, does that make it all the way over? Uh, very close. There we go. Okay. So, this is our select, and these are our two bits. So, let's say we want to do one and zero. So, right now it's set to show what they are when they're anded, because the select is at zero. So, one and zero is zero. Now, if we want to see what one and zero or together is, we can do that. And you see, it's one. One and one or one and or one is also one one and one is one so basically right here this lets us control what operation the computer does whether it does and or or and this is our input so this is sort of a fundamental part of a computer usually they're a bit bigger than this they'll select from a whole bunch of different things you can do so they might also have like an addition and subtraction and all sorts of other stuff and they're also going to have inputs that are wider than one bit so you might have like 8 bits or 16 or in modern computers 32 or 64. But this one right now only does one bit. So 1, 1, one 0 and the operation is AND. So 1 and 0 is 0. And you can see it on the output. So that is a multiplexer. Pretty cool. Neat stuff. So the circuit diagram is still up. So what I suggest you do is you try and see how this works because it's pretty cool how it actually functions. I'm not going to directly explain it, but if you look at that circuit diagram for long enough, you'll see. It's a pretty fundamental part of the computer, and frankly, it's kind of awesome. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys later. If you like this, please leave a like and subscribe. Have a good one. Bye.